I'm gonna renovate the library in Willow Creek today. Hi, my name is Tara and welcome back to my channel. Here you see me working on the roof. I do like this, this building, the white and blue scheme, I, I really like it. That was until I saw the rooftop. I mean, they had a pointy thingy at the front. Uh, you can go back in the video to see, but it's so weird. I didn't want to change too much, so now I just deleted the pointy thingy and I am trying to make something of this roof using platforms, uh, deleting this uh, this fence, but it just it kept looking so weird. Although I do like the idea of a glass rooftop, so yeah, and now you see me experimenting with uh, some more glass glass roof, but. The, uh, the roof trim didn't want to cooperate and it still looked ugly, so here uh, I, I'm trying different different things. So now I'm just going to place an entire glass roof with the curly things in it. I, I think it, uh, it suits a library, it looks kind of fancy and yeah, I think it's, uh, it suits it. And you get a really nice pattern inside when you uh, use this. Now to the back side, I thought it was really really weird, you didn't have an entrance fr from the library prairie to the, uh, to the backyard. So I created an entrance from the uh, library itself, a uh, back door, and a staircase from the balcony. And now I wanted, my goal for this was to have as many skill building items in here as possible, while st still keeping it base game. So I actually placed a bar in the backyard for your sims to maximize if they increase their bartending skills. And a little playground for the kids, putting some soft tiles beneath it in case they fall. I mean, sim kids don't fall, don't hurt themselves, but and you know, for a, a, a tiny bit of realism. And now I'm going in the, to the inside. I do like the style of this, like I said, but I just wanted it to be a little extra. So I'm keeping the style. Here in the beginning I imagine imagining someone, uh, a clerk sitting here and taking in books and doing maintenance in the building, a bit of, like a concierge. So these cases by behind the desk aren't bookcases they just uh, contain different items and now I'm seeing that the staircase doesn't line up with the front door which I think the looks really weird so I I just made the staircase a little bit wider and it needed something next to the to the front door so I put down some gnomes because gnomes are pretty important in the sim, so why not put down some? This is the kids room. It's pretty sparse, so I wanted to add some more skill building items. I, and those bookcases were way, way too high. Kids can never read on the top. So I replaced them with some kids bookshelves. I placed a toy chest and a dollhouse, a computer, a web tablet. Uh, some blocks and the science station with a fire alarm just to be uh, just to be sure i even put the sprinklers on the outside of the building uh, we have firemen now of course but they aren't always that smart so <laughs> just to be su uh, sure the library doesn't burn down i put uh, put that there and just putting some art i changed the wallpaper to be more for uh, for kids and just putting down some uh, some clutter just to make it look nice. And this uh, main area, I really want to keep this for reading. Mm, and also add some skill building items if I could. But I started with just the bookshelves and the desks with the computers. Which every library in The Sims just needs for it uh, to function. I kept it really basic, really simple, not too fancy. The bookcases are pretty fancy. Oh, and I wanted to place a music station so your team can up their fun 
even more when they're there if your sim is there for work or something a list to it or you can even up their dance skill if you want and some uh, couches for your sims to sit in when they read not that they will choose those couches to sit in but just <laughs> Uh, just for show and I'm placing the element collection there in the middle it's not of much use in this library of course but it needed something and it looked at nicer science like your sims could learn stuff and here a bit of a place for your sims to practice their music I put it on a bit of a platform I'm imagining there being uh, music nights in this library and the desk will be put aside and there will be chairs there <laughs> i know it's not real for the sims but you know just uh just uh, i liked that fantasy and here for the bathrooms just two toilets is way too little and we didn't have any uh, any toddler potties so i wanted to fix that yeah, i'm making uh how many bath i'm making four toilets and two places for potty potties and because i made the stairs a little bit bigger the the hallway was getting really small so i just uh just increased the size of the ba bathroom so it touches the stairs i thought it looked really nice and here we are getting some uh, sinks just three sinks with three mirrors and you still can use those mirrors to increase their uh, Charisma, skill, uh, logic and debate, uh, that kind of stuff. Research and debate, not logic and debate, research and debate. <laughs> Here is a bit of a dresser, so you can fix your hair before or after you go to the bathroom. You can see you still look nice. <laughs> Fixing the lights here, it's pretty dim, like it's in most of the EA builds. But I kind of liked it for a library. What I don't like is those green lights over here and those curtains are a different swatch than they, they use downstairs so I'm gonna fix that. Here upstairs I just wanted to have as many skill building items as possible. So I'm putting down some easels, uh, of course more books because it's a library and some art for your sims to look at. Just. Uh, Make it, uh, make it look nice and uh, a fancy, putting down some paintings. I am gonna change those paintings because uh, yeah, I, I didn't really like the look of them. A globe down there and I really, <laughs> really wanted this observatory, but it's just way too big to fit in here. So I settled for a microscope, which is also huge and doesn't really fit the build. But I thought it just was funny to place it, uh, place it there. Uh, this building is available on the gallery. My username there is Tara Watson No Space if you want to download it. And if you have more packs than just the base game, you can uh, change change up some stuff for whatever your Sims need. I also placed some workbenches outside on the balcony for your Sims to do some woodworking and increase their handiness skills. And the, the balconies are really, really empty, so I'm gonna fill them up too. This is a gaming head table for your sims to play cards and such. It didn't really fit, so I closed the open space one tile. Now both sides, uh, both sides have four tiles, so it's, a, it's more even too. Some more decorations, I wanted to place as much art as possible. And those bonsai trees will increase your sim's gardening skill, so they can even do that. Those posters uh, with the uh, easels in, uh, help your sim get inspired if you enable the aura. So your sim can make better paintings and just tons and tons of art everywhere just to make it look as fancy as possible. I kept with the chandeliers everywhere because I like the kind of light they emit. It's a, a warm light. I really uh, really enjoy that but it plays a little bit more so we got a bit more light. And now I am trying to fill up the outside. Oh, I even put a rocket ship down there so your sim can work on their uh, rocket skill. It's a, it's a big a big item and it's a bit weird but you know the sims is a bit weird so why not it's another skill building item and now just 
some more decorations everywhere I really liked the way it came together here are the screenshots I hope you like this if you did please press like uh, if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and hit the bell and if you have any ideas for uh, other buildings that I can renovate l let me know in the comments and maybe I will do so next time I upload new sims for videos every day so I hope to see you all tomorrow bye bye